How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to play this video for you here on ARK Invest talking about Bitcoin today, talking about how they still think it could hit $500,000 in the near future. Now that being said, I will just leave you with this real quick. If you don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. I want to talk more about this and about this video after we go through this. So stick through after that. And there is a link down there to block by to get an interest rate on your cryptocurrency. And also a link down there to the Patreon to see exactly what I'm buying and selling. I'm not saying we're right all the time, but we did buy ADA right by the bottom today. We were buying the dip. Uh, a lot of us did make some good money. And there's a link down there to Webull to get a bonus and to be able to trade before the market opens and after it closes. So thank you for doing that. And let's get into it here. Bitcoin, I mean, you at one point, I think back in April, told Dow Jones that it could go to about $500,000. Do you still hold that target? Do you still think that's where we're headed? I, I, we do. I do. Yasin El Mandra is our uh, crypto analyst, and and uh, we we go through soul searching times like this and and scrape the models. And yes, our conviction is as high. The one thing that has changed here, however, is the environmental concerns around uh, Bitcoin, in particular, have mm -hmm. uh, caused. Uh, people like Elon Musk to pull away and say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let let me let me make sure I understand this." And uh, we believe that even this is going to change because, first of all, right now uh, the percentage of Bitcoin mined with renewables and hydroelectric power is quite substantial. I think in uh, China it's over 50 percent in renewables, uh, and we also believe, uh, uh, and we wrote a paper. Uh, in conjunction with Square on this, and we're going to have a conference about it in July. We believe that Bitcoin mining integrated into the distributed grid, and by that I mean solar roofs, power walls in homes, uh, utilities, merchant power producers, uh, starting to include Bitcoin mining in the ecosystem. Why would they do that? They would do it because renewables are intermittent power sources, right? Weather, is it sunny or not? Wind, is it windy or not? And Bitcoin mining could take off if it's if there's excess energy uh, uh, from solar being loaded into power walls. It can be offloaded into Bitcoin mining, and the whole ecosystem therefore becomes much more economic. If this happens, we believe that the the uh, adoption of solar is going to accelerate dramatically because there's another profit center associated with it: Bitcoin mining. Well what happens though in the meantime? So here we are at 35,000, Kathy. Do you think we go much lower from here? Uh, you never know how low is low when a market gets very emotional. Uh, a lot of traders see Bitcoin uh, dropping below the 200 day moving average, uh, which, right. is, which was at 40,000. Uh, so traders, once that happened, they just dump. Some just uh, dump and run. Uh, I think we're in a capitulation phase. Uh, Yassine has, uh, a dashboard. We were looking at all the indicators this morning. They are all suggesting that we are in the capitulation phase, which is a really great time to buy, uh, no matter what the asset is. A capitulation phase is buy. It's on sale. Now, am I saying 35,000 is the low? You know, if traders, uh, and there are a lot of speculators in, in Bitcoin, if they are uh, running for the hills just because uh, Bitcoin has broken through a moving average that is important to them. It could continue, but uh, all of our indicators are saying this is capitulation right now. Do you have a low point on your model for Bitcoin? No, these metrics uh, are, are more a, a measure. Uh, are we in a truly capitulation phase? Okay. And it's very detailed. Yassine uses on-chain analysis, which this is the only asset where you can see exactly who's doing what, when, why, and how. Uh, and all of those metrics are saying, this is a capitulation. This is as, as bad as it got during the coronavirus crisis. So Kathy Wood here is talking about Bitcoin hitting 500,000 now. That would be about 13x from where we are right now. That is where the interest rates get really juicy if you do invest somewhere that pays an interest rate because let's say BlockFi pays you 5% and you put $10,000 in, now you might be getting $500 a year in Bitcoin 
but if we go up 13x from here you would be getting 13x that 500 dollars which would be about 6500 dollars in bitcoins so kathy in this video talks about how we are in the capitulation phase now if you don't know what that is capitulation is when investors give up any previous gains in any security or market by selling their positions during periods of declines so fear selling right capitulation can happen at any time but typically happens during high volume trading and extended declines for security so high volume trading is what we had just now a market correction or a bear market often leads investors to capitulate or panic sell the term is derived from a military term which refers to surrender after capitulation selling many traders think that they are bargain buying opportunities this belief is that everyone who wants to sell a stock for any reason including for selling due to margin calls already sold so arc invest is saying they think that this is really the capitulation phase everyone that's had to sell has sold all the weak hands have gone out and now we are in the accumulation phase a lot of companies are accumulating a good amount of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies too i know specifically arc bought ethereum pretty recently they bought 20 million dollars worth we have michael saylor saying that they acquired Acquired 111,000 Bitcoin and have not sold a single one. So now they they bought some more. They bought more the day before. They continuously buy. We have charts that are saying that hey, it's really just new investors that are losing all the money. It's people on high margin. They're getting margin called. We had platforms literally shutting down today because they could not ha handle the volume. We have FUD from China. We have Elon Musk talking about how they have diamond hands uh, over at Tesla holding their Bitcoin and how they're not panic selling, leading us to think, okay, maybe they don't want to sell at all because uh, it would be, I think, very bad press if they held on and then maybe they sold it in a week or two. But we have yet to figure out what's going to happen there. Now, in this video, they do talk about the, the general change in market sentiment that maybe Bitcoin is not the most energy efficient model. So, or the most energy efficient cryptocurrency. Now there are much more energy efficient cryptos out there, whether you're talking about even Dogecoin or ADA, Cardano, uh, there are other options out there besides Bitcoin. So if anyone is really annoyed at Bitcoin for not being energy efficient, you can look at other cryptocurrencies. However, we still have a little bit of a trend up in the market today. We did see lows right around 30 to 31,000 for Bitcoin, Ethereum just touched below 2,000. We had Cardano at a dollar and three cents. I picked up a lot of the dips on these. Now we are seeing some softening, right? We had it jump all the way up to 40,000 for Bitcoin, 2850 for Ethereum. Cardano was at a dollar 80. So we are seeing a little bit of a decline here, and maybe it is some people that really bought in this morning and are just taking some profits because they are up literally 40% in Cardano. At one point, Ethereum was up significantly to about 40% and Bitcoin was up about 30% or so. So maybe people are just taking some profits, but people are in, uh, you know, long-term holders, whales, and people that are in this for the long term are picking up more. I know a lot of people are becoming cash poor right now because they are buying cryptocurrency. Of course, none of this is financial advice. Of course, Things can change, right? Kathy Wood's stance changed a little bit too, just on the fact that, hey, there has been some fear, uncertainty, and doubt around cryptocurrency mining. I think it is going to be interesting to see, does Tesla actually go into cryptocurrency mining? Do they actually want to make it, you know, uh, do they want to incorporate their own energy savings into Bitcoin mining, bring Bitcoin mining to the masses, allow you and I to to Bitcoin mine with our Tesla solar panels and stuff like that. I don't know. But it is going to be very, very, very interesting to see what shakes out of this. Of course, there's a lot of uncertainty. I've been buying the dip, but that's not financial advice. I'll actually show because someone was giving me a hard time saying that I need to show what I've been buying and selling. So I posted it over on my Instagram. Uh, I picked up more Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. I'll play it here for you too on the video. But I also bought a couple hundred dollars worth of Ethereum and Bitcoin last night in another portfolio. So overall, I am eating this dip. I am happy to buy when things flash crash. I've always been happy to do that because I think there's a lot of fear and a lot of margin calls. At this point though, we are seeing, like I said, a little bit of softening. So just be careful. We're gonna have to pay attention. We are under that 200 day moving average, which a lot of people are paying attention to and could cause some negative implications if we close below that for too long. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on what Kathy Wood said. 
and what I said down in the comments. Thank you for checking out the link down below to BlockFi and for checking out Weeble. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. And if you want to see what I'm buying and selling on a daily basis and give and get updates when the market opens and when the market closes, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. I recently opened up some lower level tiers in there if you're interested in getting in there when it's a little bit cheaper. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.